tourism sectors, in addition to means of empowering the youth on both the political and social fronts. Some 1,300 young people from Upper Egypt's governorates will take part in the event. Several ministers and heads of political parties, along with MPs and heads of Upper Egyptian universities, are attending the different conference sessions. On the sidelines of the second monthly youth conference that is currently being held in Aswan, Nile TV's Nada Ibrahim held the following interview with Dr. Gehad Ayamir, Secretary General of the Arab Union for Youth Leaders Preparation. The second monthly uh, youth uh, conference that's taking place uh, uh, in Aswan Governorate under the auspices and the attendance of President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi. I'm being joined right now uh, by uh, Dr. Gehad Aymer, the Secretary General of Arab Union for Youth Leaders Preparation. Uh, Dr. Gehad, thank you so much for joining us, uh, joining us on Nile TV. Uh, first of all, uh, tell us more about the significance of uh, holding this meeting in Aswan and Governorate of Aswan. Um, good great Friday morning to all the Egyptians from Aswan and uh, holding this um, second uh, meeting for the National uh, uh, Forum for the Youth, it gives a true signal that uh, the, uh, the governorates in the south are truly in the mind and in the heart of the stakeholders and decision makers in Egypt. And the opportunity of gathering the stakeholders and the ministers, and I mean different uh, uh, authorities in Egypt, and the open discussions between the youth and the people in Egypt gives the, the, the opportunity for them for more confidence, for more knowledge, for, uh, for more uh, uh, chance to participate uh, truly in the development of their, uh, of their country. And indeed, we will see during the coming days how uh, uh, th that uh, these uh, uh, governorates are in the mind, whereby we are talking about the uh, uh, social and political participation, the local authorities' uh, election that we are going to, to participate in, as well the SME's uh, uh, project that will take part in the, in the, in the second second uh, meeting and for sure we will have a, a, like a, a presentation from different youth initiatives that, that will uh, take part in the second day inshallah. Yes, concerning the sessions uh, uh, presenting uh, by the youth, uh, um, what about the sessions and what about the uh, initiatives uh, presenting by these youth? Uh, let's not talk about uh, internally about the, the, the initiatives itself and uh, to be presented by the, uh, by the youth themselves to all the people and to all the, to, to all the Egyptians who are uh, following the, uh, the, the second meeting. But I want to tell you that uh, truly they are getting to, uh, to the deep uh, studying different uh, uh, cases and different uh, challenges that are facing the, the South because these uh, initiatives are talking about the challenges in the, in the South. Uh, and the governorates, I mean in general, not only as one. Uh, and in fact, Taban, uh, having the, the great opportunity for the youth participation from Aswan because we are uh, into their house, uh, hosted by them. Dr. Gehad Aymer, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much. Thank you for being with us. Thank you very much. Thank you. Nada Ibrahim also conducted an interview with Tariq Qabil, Minister of Trade and Industry.